and welcome back to my channel my name is Nicola if you're new here right today we are going to home bargains I thought we would have a look round I know they've got Easter stuff in they've got Valentine's stuff in now usually when I do a shop with me I've got my mum and dad with me but my mum is still recovering I'll go into more detail during the weekly um, but so she can't come out with me therefore if it's busy I'm not going to speak while I'm filming and then I'll do a voiceover when I edit it if you see what I mean um, <laughs> because I get camera shy <laughs> because a lot of people look at you they give you odd looks like why is she talking to a camera and filming things it's 2023 you know people do YouTube social media anyway whatever I shall judge it but let's go and see all the good things that they've got in okay so first of all I found all these weird bug bath bombs and creaturey things it reminded me a bit of I'm a celebrity um, but I thought kids would love it and they had lots of uh, bath bomby type things in which are always popular so they had some really nice pyjama sets in that would be good for Mother's Day. Um, they were £15 and this one I really loved. They had shorts with them for £14. Um, they had shorts underneath that. So then we go on to Valentine's Day. They had these gorgeous little bowls that were £3.50 or £2.50 for the smaller ones. I mean you could use them all year round for different little trinkets. They had candle sets, 2 99 wax melts, and then always the Wickford candles come out. And they're really good, the Wickford candles. I do really rate them. They had other candles and bath bombs with uh, love hearts, £2.49. Be a good gift. And these baskets, I love these. I actually own one of these for £3.50, and I love these shelves. I think they're mirrored down the bottom. These heart dishes were plastic and they were 99 pence. And all these mugs were really cute as well. You've got giraffe and you're the bestie. I really love them. And this bowl was cute as well. You could put lots of nibbles in there. I thought this was so cute, fries before guys. And that was 3.99. And then I loved this set of three trays. I thought they were really cute. How many times am I gonna say cute? Then we go on to cards and I liked this one and I was going to buy it but then I saw this next one um, and thought this was a better option right they had lots of options for Valentine's they had these cookie cutters for 179 so you can make you some little cookies lovely confetti balloons but beware of them balloons stuff goes everywhere when you burst them make your own valentine's cards if you want to do that um, there was these mug sets for 3 99 i loved these cookies so you could design your own cookie then you had gin glasses if your other half likes gin and i loved these love bugs as well little chocolates they were really cute next we go on to mother's day so they had these little bath cubes now i've never known or heard of a bath bomb cube but in the scent peony which is my favorite scent then you've got these mug and sock sets for 3 99 got these stars with bath bombs in not all mums like bath bombs I really loved these watches for 5 99 I thought they looked a lot more expensive the little initial necklaces for £1.49 and an eye mask is always good if that's what you use and then these little hearts that I actually got two of for the Mother's Day. They had these little sets that had all this stuff in, so I've focused in on it so you can see. Body lotion, wash, everything for 7 99 You get the basket as well. These nail polishes were really cute for £2.49. I've said cute again, take a shot every time I say it. And then these other little sets. They had lots of different options for Mother's Day if that's what you do. Um, I tend to put a little package together for our mums. I love this mug. I thought that was really lovely. £3.49 as well. Can't go wrong for a little gift. Lots of gift sets and 
oh mums want to have funds and nans want to have funds they were like money collecting jars loved 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 these vases for one pound 29 i mean that would make a great birthday present as well as a mother's day present and then they had all the wickford candles in spring bouquet and rose garden that didn't smell very nice i didn't smell the violet bloom because it reminded me a bit of lavender which i don't like as for the Mother's Day gift bags, they had three to choose from, actually four with the Peppa Pig one as well. I loved these ones and I loved these ones, but you need to be careful because some were ripped that I found out. So go through them. The Peppa Pig one was really cute as well. Had to show you these, look. It's just another manic Monday. Had to show you that. Brilliant. I would have picked them up, but they were $4.99 and I don't need them but they were really good they reminded me of my sayings so we're just looking along the pajamas there were so many nice pajamas like these ones you could just wear them all day as like a day suit so they were 12 pound what a bargain and i thought these pajamas were lovely for a mother's day gift actually um, they came with a sleep mask as well they were very thin cotton they had these t-shirts in the sale and i had to show you I only went in by home bargains for one thing. It's just typical, isn't it? And then we go on to Easter. So there wasn't loads out for Easter. There were these paint your own decorations, this balloon that I quite liked, cookie cutters, and then all these stickers like craft embellishments, 79p, good price. Loved the bunnies, loved the eggs, loved all of them, really. And they had this sign for £1.69, which was a bargain and then these bunnies and what i really wanted was the matting so they're actually place mats and this is a table runner so i definitely got one of those but i'm going to go back and probably get another one and they had all these cute dishes i really wanted to get one of these carrot dishes for 1.99 but they're quite small and i usually do a buffet so i don't know if i'd fit much on that plate and then they had these bunny ones as well for $4.99. This cake stand was adorable for $9.99. They had quite a few bits and pieces. Oh, hot cross bun candle, no thanks. Carrot cake, no. I don't do sweet flavoured candles. Flavoured? Scented. Had to show you this gonk. Look at him. Isn't he glorious? $19.99 for the garden. Love him. Then I found these pom-pom baskets, $7.99. I have no idea what you'd use them for, but I loved them. And then more candles, of course. And these were Yankee candles, these ones. And they were $4.99 in the sale. And I actually smelt this cotton one, but it didn't smell of anything. So I thought, well, I'm not going to buy it then. I found some really lovely vases. I thought these were gorgeous. And also these looked really expensive, but they were $6.99. Really good price. The same with these, $6.99. Really lovely. Loved this um, stackable storage jars, really, really lovely for $8.99, I think that was. And then this picture I fell in love with for $9.99, it was a canvas. Look at the colours in it, stunning, nowhere to put it, but I love it. And then this Star Lantern, they had a few Christmas bits left over, as you can see. Don't know why they've still got Christmas stock out, I really don't. I think they should have put that away by now. Oh camera's wobbling right I'm back now I've even tied my hair up because I mean business <laughs> as you can see I didn't speak I did a voiceover because I was just too embarrassed on my own <laughs> um right so let's get going we've got two bags one oh hang on and two Oh gosh, let's see what I bought from Home Bargains. Now there wasn't, because I've been watching a lot of Home Bargains hauls and shop with me's on TikTok and there wasn't as much stuff as what's been on there, but I got a few bits and pieces. So I always pick these up when I go in. Is that the right way? <laughs> um, these are rice thin, salt and vinegar flavoured. Uh, they're gluten free and they are great for a snack. Like I usually at one point 
like one time if I'm eating I'll have like one column at a time but they're really really yummy and not too bad for you so I tend to have them in the like the late afternoon if I'm hungry in between dinner it's not good to snack but you know £1.49 so I got this car air freshener this pink rhubarb and pear for £1.49 I've never tried the Wickford ones um, from Home Bargains I've tried the big jar candles and I've bought one today but I've not tried the car air freshener so I'll let you know how I get on with that um, I got these refills now I'm really struggling lately with cooking smells in the bungalow I cannot stand it and because you know we have like over sensory thingy whatever it's called with fibromyalgia a lot of people can't stand these because of the strong scent but I can't stand not to have a strong nice scent because if I can smell cooking smells and in a bungalow that is going to happen because you're all on one level um, so these are a must and I think these are two for £4.99 they're the Febreze ones they're Miami I've not tried these ones before but I did the scratch and sniff on the front and they smelt nice so I shall put them in later stocked up stocked up stocked up on a couple of cards so I got this one a bottle of Prosecco and a couple of gins and she was seeing life from a completely different angle <laughs> like that and then this one I thought was quite pretty the colours sparkle like it's your birthday so I got those two for my card box I also got these now these are for the bathrooms and they're great in the bathrooms but I put them in all the rooms um, so I put one by the front door I put one in the lounge but it's not strong enough because the lounge bigger so I thought I'd better get a pack of two um, so that they can go further I also put them in Holly's room because of the smell of the rats ratters pancake day is coming so I got a pancake mix you just add milk makes four to six pancakes now I'm rubbish at making pancakes but I do need to buy a new non-stick pan and that was on my list to get today but they didn't have any so I couldn't get any well they had some frying pans but they were rubbish they were like cheapy old nasty things I want to get a good one so it lasts now I've got some cooker liners that are reusable you can put them in the dishwasher these were 79p each our ones that we've got are all ripped where you cut your food up and this lighting is terrible isn't it um when you cut your food up on the liner it rips the liner so I got these ones and I thought I'll see how these go I did actually want some more slow cooker liners but they didn't have any um, I'm going to start making myself because I've been doing making myself breakfast because I don't usually eat breakfast I didn't eat breakfast today um, but then I ran out of time <laughs> so I'm going to start making overnight oats and rolled oats apparently are the best oats to use for overnight oats so that's why I got those and they were £2.49 quite expensive I thought but it is Quaker and they're an expensive make um, this is the gravy we love which is Bisto Best I actually like the onion gravy best but this is the beef gravy they didn't have the onion one and in the shops this is 2 99 and at Home Bargains this was £2.19 I got a new powder, bin powder, Nutridol in Citrus Fresh because it makes your bins smell good. Now Mother's Day is coming up as well, that's not until March um, but I've been getting some bits and pieces for that today. So if you are Lisa or either of the mums, stop watching now. So I bought them a pack of pink heart chocolates each I do like a little gift bag for um, the three of them with little bits in and then I got some gift bags so these were 79 pence each so I got one each for the mums and then I got this one for Mark's sister um, did I get anything else for Mother's Day? oh yes I did 
And then I got them, the mum's one of these little hearts, ceramic hearts each. says, forever my mum and always my friend. And I think these were 199 were they, or 99p? There you go, 99p, yes. So yeah, these were 99p each, and they've got like a nice little thing so you can hang them up. Um, and they're ceramic, as you can hear. <laughs> got those. I also got this table runner. Now I think I might go and get another one of these. These are 3 99 But my thinking was to put this on the shelf of dreams. Because I want to make a shelf of dreams for every occasion. And of course Easter is the next one. So I thought that would be perfect for the shelf of dreams. But I also want to put one across the table as well. So I got a table runner. Where else? That's one bag done. Oh, I've got to put all this lot away. That's the worst thing about going shopping is then having to put everything away. Comment below if you agree. Weight Watchers chicken soup. This is my favourite chicken soup. So I got two of them. They were £1.20 each. I got Mark a Valentine's Day card for 79 pence. Oh, this is the candle I went for. I love this colour. I thought that's very Easter, isn't it? All the pastels. Um, and this is spring bouquet and it smells delicious it just smells like spring so this one I am saving I am going to start making my own candle soon um, that will be in another vlog that's my prescription and then the last thing I got was some Duracell batteries because I go through these like there's no tomorrow with all my lights in the lounge. <laughs> so that was the two bags. Now I did pop in, I'll just show you quickly, I popped in to the charity shop because I had some bags to give in and I went in and had a look and I found two teapots. You know I'm collecting um, like the, what do you call it, ornamental teapots. I've got two so far. So now I've got four. I will show you in a minute. Hang on, it goes that way. Let me just assemble them and then I will show you them. They were five pounds each, which is standard price for a, a fancy teapot now. Fancy, fancy teapot. <laughs> right, so the first one, look at this. It's the Georgian Dragon Pub. And there's like, is that the barman there? bringing some drinks out or is that the dad because it looks like a family here doesn't it so it looks like the dad's bringing the drinks out to the family sitting outside the pub I love that and it's got like the green growing up the the tea the spout the spout and then that's the back of it I absolutely love it and it's going up the handle as well there so it needs a bit of a clean, so I can do that, not a problem. And what I'm thinking of is getting a couple of really nice, like rustic-y shelves to put up in the kitchen um, on the wall and putting all my teapots on there that I collect. And then this is the second one, which is a church and the handle is the ladder that he's climbing up on because <laughs> he's fixing the roof. And then in the door, you've got all these choir people singing. Oh, just brilliant. And then you lift that off. That's the actual lid of the, the teapot. And then I'll show you the back of it. Look at them. I think they're brilliant. This is the one that caught my eye first. And then I had so many, but they were five, like I say, five pounds each. So I thought I'll just get two. And they were my favorite too. So yeah. That's what I got. I hope you've enjoyed this haul. Give it a thumbs up if you haven't done already. And leave me a nice comment. What was your favourite thing you saw in the shop? I really loved, loved, loved that canvas that was 9 99 But I've got nowhere to put it. <laughs> That's the problem. When you've got a small place you live in, there's not enough wall space. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know where I'd put it, but I just loved it. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you all on Saturday for the weekly. Take care. Bye.